Okay, so I know a lot of you have been waiting for part two of the DACAM video. That keeps getting delayed for a couple reasons. Number one, because new stuff keeps coming to market while I'm in the process of doing that. And number two, it keeps turning into this big, like, hour-long video. So I have no choice but to tackle that in sections. So for me, there's only a couple of stack options that are really going to offer you a good blend of performance and flexibility at that entry-level price point. And I say entry-level, that price point still might scare a couple of you. One of those is the OL Atom stack from JDS. And the other one is this one right here. This is the Magni Modi stack from Shit Audio. In the time since I got my Shit stack, they've since released two new versions of the Magni amp, the 3 Plus and the Heresy, both at the $100 mark. So we're gonna look at both of those today and compare and contrast against the OL Atom stack from JDS. Then in future videos, we'll talk about gaming specific options, whether you even need to go that way. And we'll look at a couple internal options as well. You ready? Let's go. Yo, I'm Brian P. You're watching Bad C Tech, and today we're checking out the new ish Magni offerings, the 3 Plus and the Heresy from Shit Audio. The first thing that jumped out at me about this stack is the overall look. It's clean, like really clean. Designed to be run together, the Modi external DAC will run you 99 bucks, and then either the Magni 3 Plus or the Heresy will run you 99 as well. And if you opt for Shit's own short throw RCA cables, which they call the Pist, they'll get you for another 20 bucks. That brings the total cost of this setup to 220 plus shipping if you buy direct. If you buy via Amazon, the cables, I can't even find them right now, and each unit will get you for an additional $20 upcharge. So yeah, we're talking about two different components here, one being the DAC and one being the amp. If you're gonna start with only one, if budget only allows for one, start with the amp and then add the DAC later. If you're already confused about the difference or what these two things even mean, click the link up in the corner, go watch the intro video about DACs and amps, and then come back and finish this one. If you are running the amp solo, the inputs are limited here, so you'll have to go RCA in converted from the output of your motherboard. That's your only option. This differs from the JDS Atom in that the Atom also offers a 3.5 millimeter aux in. Outputs are RCA preamps, which means you can feed these to an additional power amp if need be. The physical volume control on the amp has no effect at all over the levels of these, and plugging in headphones switches back and forth between the two. Build quality on these is top tier. Everything is solid. Switches feel great, no noise on the volume pot. There are two different colorways. 3 Plus comes in their standard silver and gray, and the Heresy comes in that same red and black treatment we saw in the Hell. You can get a Modi DAC to match that Heresy as well. These are actually two different types of amp technology here, but let's talk about what they share first. Power output is insane for a $99 amp. We're talking a full 2.4 watts at 32 ohms. That's 2.4 times the output of the Atom. The big thing here is that they're running different technologies inside. The 3 Plus is the more traditional build out we're used to from shit, and the Heresy is an op amp based setup similar to the JDS Atom. I surprised myself here in that I was actually able to pick out the 3 from the 3 Plus and the Heresy. I could pick out the 3 and the 3 Plus from the Atom, but I could not reliably pick out the difference between the Heresy and the Atom. Took me a while to figure out how to vocalize all this, but what it finally came down to is when I just had the standard Magni 3 I actually preferred the JDS Atom because it seemed to have more punch and more clarity. The Atom to me sounds very close to the Heresy. The 3 Plus is a slightly different animal. It's tough to explain, but that 3 Plus has like a smoothness to it that the other two lack. It still has clarity and it sounds more capable than the OG Magni 3, but the Heresy and the Atom has so much detail that the mix on certain tracks can feel a bit disconnected. On the Heresy, you can hear the quality of the mix for better or worse, like how talented that engineer was in the actual recording process. The 3 Plus has this smoothness to it. Now, I wouldn't go so far as to like call it a warmth. It's not that significant. It's just more cohesive. It's more forgiving to the mix. And for me, it's the more listenable of the two. But if you want just that raw, unflinching detail, Heresy's probably your pick. To illustrate this a bit more, I did most of my testing between the DT1990 and the Dan Clark Aeon Open X from Drop. Currently my two favorite headphones and the ones that I really know the best. The Open X being a planar really enjoyed the detail level of the Heresy, but that sibilance that people sometimes talk about with the DT1990, it's not really apparent to me all the time. It really stuck out to me on the Heresy. For my ears, this was smoothed out to good effect on the 3 Plus. In terms of gaming, Logic would say that you would 
would want the one with the most precise detail. But I also feel that gaming has a much lower threshold for the law of diminishing returns. I wouldn't let that be a deciding factor for which one you go with. Like a footstep still sounds like a footstep and directionally, you can still pick them out no problem. Now to talk about the stack as a whole, one of the big things that the shit stack has going for it over the similarly priced JDS option is that one, the build quality here feels like quality versus the build on the Atom. And two, the aesthetic of both the Magni and the Modi working together is pretty undeniable. That's just something you're not gonna get with the OL Atom stack. I will say though that the RCA cables from JDS are pretty cool and that you can shape them how you want to make sure the stack really sits the right way and they hold their shape. I really like these. Another advantage to this stack that people don't think about is that only the Magni needs a wall warp power supply. The Modi DAC is cool to be powered over the same USB that you run from your PC. Only if you plan on running something over optical only, like a console, would you need to also have power provided to the Modi. So one stack, one power supply, supply for most desktop use cases. The OL Atom stack requires two. So where does something like this stack fit into the landscape as a whole? Well, at 240 US plus shipping, this is a beginner DAC amp combo that really doesn't sound like a beginner combo. You can still run low power and handle delicate stuff like IEMs, and you can handle some pretty beefy headphones as well. For 85 to 90% of you, especially those who game as much or more than they listen to music, this is probably the last audio solution you would ever need. A good argument here for splashing the extra money on a separate stack versus something like the one we looked at from the file is exactly what we're looking at here, where if you already have the Modi and the Magni 3, you can upgrade to the 3 plus amp or the Heresy and still utilize your existing Modi DAC and cables. Which by the way, I actually would recommend the upgrade if you're still running the Magni 3. Sell the old one off and cop the new one. It's worth it. Just understand that this is a purely audio solution. So there's no mic in, there's no software, there's no simulated 7.1, there's no EQ without using a third party plugin. If gaming features and comms are important to you and how you play, you still really can't go wrong with the Sennheiser GSX-1000 as a DAC paired with an Atom or a Magni 3 for that matter, but aesthetically, I like the look of this more. When you pair it with the Atom, you can unlock the ability to use some really demanding headphones. Now, you will be trading audio fidelity for features. I think it goes shit stack first and then vying for second place in terms of audio quality is the hell in the GSX Atom stack. But that GSX Atom stack is going to be the most feature packed option out there. It's like if you're purely focused on gaming, the hell is still an option, though it lacks gaming and comp control features offering only a mic in, and it does lack console support for the mic. If you want to stretch your legs a little more into music listening and be able to experiment with some bigger headphones, I would definitely recommend splurging on the stack, even though you're giving up the mic in on the hell. It also has an optical in on the Modi, so it does offer some limited console support as well. If you want more well-rounded console support and portability and a mic in, Really the only option out there that would cover that is the Mayflower Arc Mark II, which lives on my gaming desk a lot because it's convenient. The whole thing is powered over bus power, it's got a really small footprint, and there's a mic in right there that sounds good if I ever need it in a pinch. To me, the audio sounds a little thinner than both of the newer shit options. The detail is on par with the Heresy, but it lacks the punch of both units, and that Bass Boost DSP can be overpowering in a lot of cases, something that's become more and more apparent to me as my ears evolve. So as far as that question that I get asked all the time, if I had $100 and was gonna buy my first headphone amp, what would I buy? Personally, I would buy the Magni 3 Plus for the smoothness. Now, depending on your musical taste, if you really want that detail, like you like a lot of complex stringed arrangements, you wanna be able to pick out all the little subtleties there, definitely go with the Heresy. The next tier out there that matters, like the THX AAA, will get you for like 400 for just the amp. And it's a great unit, it is. It's my daily on my main desk, but it really only offers me the ability to use headphones with balanced XLR connections over this setup. At this point, you're probably even more confused, right? Because it all comes down to your personal use case what your goals are in the gear that you have already. So much so that I should probably just design a flowchart because while there is a product out there to fit whatever you're looking for, there is no one perfect product out there that's gonna fit everyone's situation. Like for instance, if you're streaming and you already have an XLR mic on your desk, you don't have to worry about a mic in on your audio solution at all. So we're probably just gonna keep covering different stuff until you put together what will work specifically for you. But for the majority of you that just wanna level up your audio, you just wanna game on a really solid, clear 2.0 setup, and you wanna be able to really enjoy your music, this stack, the Magni Modi 3 Plus, 
is going to be my recommendation. I personally prefer the richness of the 3 Plus over the detail of the Heresy. All gimmicks aside, you just can't argue with the powerful, accurate stereo audio solution that can handle a variety of headphones and IEMs. I would go so far as to say that if you're fearful of slipping down that audio rabbit hole, you could grab a shit stack for under 250 and a pair of Aeon Opens for 500, which we'll be looking at very soon because I thoroughly endorse these and be totally done. Literally, you could stop right there, like toes teetering over the edge of that rabbit hole, be perfectly satisfied, walk away, and never give it another thought. I also get a lot of questions about how a Go XLR fits into the whole audio setup, so I've reached out to them to see if we can get that in and experiment with how that works in different setups as well. Links down in the description for everything we talked about today. Let me know in the comments if you're interested in me diving a little more into that GSX Atom stack, and I'll get out a quick video on it. Questions about audio? just come by the Discord. And that's it for this time. I'm Brian P. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit that sub button, and until next time, stay up.